want to my soul to be tested because I have uh, a number of problems. Mili si, although muri one hectare, stima kolola, but kuringana na dotia kaya na stima kolola buino. We are used to, on a layman's point of view, four bags per hectare or 300 kgs or 200 kgs per hectare. But you're looking at the soils in Zambia, they vary from place to place and people do not know that. Hello everybody, welcome to the program. A program designed to bring you news and interviews on agricultural trends and developments. Shaping Zambia's agro destiny. This is Lima Tan. <laughs> Fertile soils are essential to increasing crop production. Farmers work hard to improve and maintain soil fertility in their fields. A decline in yields is enough to make a farmer worry about fertility of the soil. Emma Makamba is a farmer of Misolo Agriculture Camp in Kasama District. Mrs. Makamba is worried with the health of her soil. She wants to know why she recorded poor yields in groundnuts and beans in the 2018-2019 farming season. Her impressive yields in maize have not stopped her from worrying about the status of her soil. She plans to take some soil samples for testing at Minsamfu Research Station. She is hopeful that the results and recommendations will help to increase yields in beans and groundnuts. My land is about 5 hectares. I grow mainly maize beans, soya beans, and uh, I like growing groundnuts, but uh, most of the time I don't harvest my, my, my groundnuts because, because of the poor soils, I think. Definitely I would want uh, my soils to be tested because I have uh, a number of problems. Uh, in certain areas in my farm, uh, crops don't do well. That includes mess itself. So I would like to, to have my soils being tested. And uh, I like the growing different crops, pro, uh, crop rotation, like crop rotation. But each time I do the rotation, in those areas, affected areas, soon I don't get any better results. That's why I want my soil to be tested. Soil testing is important because it enables a farmer to know the nutrient content and acidity of soil. The Zambia Agriculture Research Institute, ZARI, in the Ministry of Agriculture, provides soil testing services to the farming community. Its mandate is to generate and disseminate appropriate farming technologies that will help farmers to increase agriculture production, in turn enhancing household food, nutrition and income security. ZARI, with support from the Agricultural Productivity Program for Southern Africa, APSA, has procured and installed state-of-the-art laboratory equipment in its research stations. The new equipment will improve analysis in plant diseases, pests, and soil testing. APSA is a project that has been funded by the World Bank to Zari and its partners. And within that project, we have procured laboratory equipment that we are using in the labs to analyze um, uh, soils as well as land samples so that we can come up with uh, recommendations to farmers. As you are aware, in this country, one of our major challenges is the fact that we have blanket fertilizer recommendations, especially for maize, where we have a similar rate of basal dressing and a similar rate for, for top dressing, 200 kgs D, 200 kgs urea, in all areas, in all agroecologies, despite having different soils and different rainfall patterns. So now with the equipment that we have procured, we are going to be a little bit more site-specific. So we are going into precision farming. We have to know what kind of soils we are dealing with, and with that then we can recommend appropriate fertilizer rates as well as fertilizer types. So this is going to enhance productivity 
and production because the fertilizers now are going to be used more efficiently and more effectively in different agroecologies. Before procurement of new equipment, results of soil tests used to delay. We have Mtanda Research Station here, Zari Zambia Agriculture Research Institute. Uh, this is the institution that has been helping us to do the, the soil testing activity. We, however, have had a bit of problems with the soil testing uh, arrangement that has existed of late because um, it's not well equipped. Some, some of the tests have, can be done here, but some of the tests have to be sent to Chilanga. And uh, in the process, uh, there are situations where maybe a farmer expects results to come out very quickly. And when the test has to be done in Chilanga, it tends to take a bit longer than the farmer would have expected. And so they lose track of uh, where the, the results are and the, when they are supposed to receive them. And they end up you know, having to just you know, use their own opinions in production, using assumptions that are not confirmed. We're very grateful that uh, uh, the government of the Republic of Zambia, uh, with support from the World Bank through APSA, has uh, considered us in terms of bringing us new equipment. I think it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's long overdue that we, we had new equipment so that we can perform these analysis within the shortest possible time. I think that has been a great challenge from our clients, our farmers. Not only farmers, even uh, research results. You find that research results will be delayed because uh, from our trials, we need to analyze soils. We need to analyze the other materials like uh, plant tissues, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, with new equipment, um, we'll be able to, to produce results within a short time and we'll be able to do or analyze all the parameters like uh, trace elements or the micronutrients as they are called. We'll be able to do all that. So in, in short, we'll be able to meet the demand of uh, our clients in terms of uh, soil analysis services. So all the elements that are in that particular sample just come out. So all you need to do is to get your flash uh, put it in there, put the data out, and then you can have your results. It's as simple as that. Currently, researchers are able to conduct comprehensive soil and fertilizer tests and release results within a short period. We have been equipped with equipment which can determine the levels of the metals which are necessary for plant growth, the pH meters which are able to determine the pH, and it's just an, a, a good array of equipment which has really made this lab to be up to date with the current demand of soil analysis in the country. Basically, we are involved in analyzing for the levels of nutrients that are needed for plant growth. That is the NPK, that's nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium for the macros and the micronutrients. We are supposed to also determine the levels of manganese, zinc, copper, iron, and boron. But initially, before we do all this, the soil, like in human beings, has also what we call its temperature. Uh, water can uh, equate it to temperature, which is the pH, because from the pH, this is the cardinal <coughs> parameter in the soil, because it will guide you basically on what you're going to find in that soil in terms of nutrients, in terms of microorganisms, as, as well as it will determine the pH of the soil will determine the procedure supposed to use to determine these other nutrients. Whether it's alkaline or acidic, the pH will tell you which method you're supposed to use to determine these nutrients. We are able now to quickly analyze the lime, uh, quickly give the results, and even actually grade the lime as to what it belongs to, uh, to what class it belongs to. Uh, we can also look at uh, the issue of fertilizers. 
Our laboratory is mandated actually by law to test all the fertilizers which are coming in the country, meaning we want to safeguard our farmers from buying fraudulent fertilizers. We have uh, what we call inoculant, which is used uh, in the production of soybeans. So that product actually helps in biological nitrogen fixation. So what that does, we know that um, uh, nit uh, we know that uh, nitrogen is one of the limiting uh, nutrients in the soil. So this product that we have here is what we produce from here, and we. And with the, uh, this product is available for farmers to just come and uh, source it from our lab. So what it does, it actually helps the farmer reduce the cost of input by using this and offsetting some of the chemical fertilizers that might be needed. What it does is it causes nodulation on the roots. So when that happens, you have an availability of nitrogen, which is fixed by the bacteria. Pests and diseases adversely affect crop production. Researchers at Zari are utilizing the new equipment to conduct research on effective control and management of pests and diseases. We detect the diseases in the samples that are brought to this laboratory. And at other times, we go in the field to collect the samples that we ultimately use to find out what exactly is causing the seen symptoms in the plants. So basically, the reason why we do that is, is, is that diseases of plants reduce crop yield. So our mandate is to ensure that we come up with technologies that help to reduce crop loss due to um, plant diseases. Farmers understand the importance of fertile soil in crop production. In the absence of soil testing services, farmers use unreliable methods to determine fertility. They would put a crop, use the crop as a, a standard measure to see whether the soil is responding well to their intentions. Put a certain crop, if it responds well, they assume that that soil accepts the crop. The other one that they have been trying to do is uh, to the traditional one of incorporating organic matter so that they improve the nature of the soil. And then he, if the soil eventually after some time, maybe a couple of years, if it improves, then they assume that they've corrected the situation in the, in the soil. The other thing that probably is also discouraged that uh, they have been trying to do is uh, the slash and burn. Slash burn the organic material that they have slashed and the trees that have been cut, the bushes, burn them. Then they assume, they, they have been assuming that the reaction of the ash in the soil is the same as the reaction of the, the, the agricultural lime that is recommended normally for certain soils. Kudivena <laughs> Kofuni gauti ni pimise doti because ni zaziva ni zaziva ubuino wapaja pamalo wakani pimila doti ni zaziva kuti apa pamalo panga pafuni ka chimanga apa pamalo panga pafuni ka binzi apa pamalo panga pafuni ka nshaba songa ni chitira mo chitira mo cha bendi paja no na uri mukala ubuera kumbuyo mankala los. Instead, of one hectare, maybe in Chosemo Miri Siambiri, the boards pays a chabat in a Chosamo or thirty bags or forty bags. In Shaba, maybe in the Pesa Cochabeca Saka Mozi beans or half bag. So Ubuino, only Pimila Doti, Nizazi, but put it up a Pafuni Cachaso, up a Pafuni Cachaso. Mutebi Wakia is a farmer and proprietor of Wakia Farm in Chilanga district. He ventured into farming after retiring from formal employment. He grows vegetables, green maize, and rare chickens. Mr. Wakia was compelled to take soil samples for testing at Zari's Mount Makuru research station after noticing a reduction in crop yields. 
Researchers at Zari recommended some agronomical practices, such as lime application. Production and productivity at Mr. Wakia's farm has since increased, much to the delight of younger members of his family, who are literally taking a bite out of this success. I think uh, all the commercial farmers and even the small-scale farmers uh, are advised to use uh, uh, the lime where the soils have become acidic or after a long time of, of, of using that piece of land normally it becomes acidic and to renew that you have to use uh, lime and I would advise all the others to get to using the lime. Farmers whose soils have been tested by Zari have benefited from the recommendations. Such farmers now know that improving soil fertility is much more than just applying fertilizer. They also practice crop rotation, apply agriculture lime and manure, and retain residues after harvesting. But once Ignatius Mali is a farmer in Kapirimposhi. He has decided to utilize soil testing facilities at Kavoi Research Station after recording a decline in crop production. The new soil testing equipment boosts Mr. Mali's confidence in the test. It was just last week on Wednesday, the 28th of uh, August, when I was privileged to attend uh, a meeting, is it a workshop, and a CFU, Conservation Farming Unit, where they were explaining on uh, how best the soils can be used. So. Uh, it came to my mind that uh, I should also have my soil tested because they emphasized you don't just have to use soils anyhow. It is better you have them tested. Imagine since 2001, I've just been plowing this field, doing, uh, you know, planting maize, soya beans, uh, whatever I could plant. So now with this education that I had last week, I was prompted, I, I mean I learned that uh, maybe I can just go on wasting resources on uh, maybe fertilizers because I don't know how rich my soil is. I may maybe just buy fertilizers in abundance because as per uh, idea that we know is we have to apply maybe eight fertilizer per hectare. So now we were educated that Maybe in some soils can even accommodate less than eight, depending on uh, um, their textures, as, as, uh, their, as the explanation of this field officer. So the sample which was prepared yesterday, and then now we are testing. You just hold the, you hold the meter like this, and then with the sample in your hands, and then you start shaking. The new equipment will make it easier for researchers to provide soil testing services to farmers. Everything in the lab now is new, and then we are able to work on any element, any, any, any test that a farmer would request for us to like test for them. We are able to do that in central province. We have to test our soils so that we know how we're going to produce the yield. The yield is supposed to go up every time that we do, we produce, we cultivate our land. It is very important that, that they test so that they know the status. 
it is very important that they test so that they know how much fertilizer they're going to add to their field. It is very important that they know the, even their amount of lime which they're supposed to, to, to lime the field. Sometimes it's not even important to buy lime, you just lime the field if you, didn't, if you don't know the, the acidity of the soil. We want all the soil tests done here. That probably will secure the samples uh, because in transit anything can happen to the samples. The results could be adulterated. So the equipment coming, we hope that it will be able to handle all situations of testing that uh, should be done to the soils. Farmers who would like to have their soils tested are advised to seek the help of extension staff or trained farmers to take samples from their fields. We work hand in hand with the, the extension uh, or the Department of Agriculture. So the Department of Agriculture through the extension officers are able to mobilize the farmers. Uh, for farmers that have been trained on how to take soil samples or collect soil samples, they can collect the samples and bring them to the laboratory. Yeah, but the other farmers who, are, who don't know who have not been trained, for those normally they are free to request our officers to go and do the sampling. So the officers will go and do the sampling and then they'll bring them to the lab for analysis. Farmers can bring the, their samples to the lab with the help of an extension officer where they're coming from. They are directed, you know, you have to do this, this, or that extension officer samples them for them and then the farmer will just bring, submit the sample to the lab. In case where the farmer wants us to visit the, the field, the farmer will come and pick us and then we go to the field, we sample, and then we come back with the results. We test and then give them the, the results. Fertilizer application is widespread among farmers. It is important for farmers to buy genuine products and adhere to recommended application rates to get desired results. Zari analyzes fertilizers to protect farmers from adulterated products. Good hands fertilizers is a company which specializes in bioorganic fertilizers. The company tests its products at Zari to ensure that fertilizers and agriculture lime meet national standards. Zari is uh, an institution that is uh, government owned and the, every fertilizer company that comes here just to do their testing through Zari. And uh, when people are aware that the fertilizer has gone through Zari, They'll be, they'll be able to gain confidence in the company. And not just that, if you do your test through that, you're going to have a separate entity that is going to give you the clear results of your product. Because if you use another person, it might be maybe you've paid them or something like that. But with the Zari, you take them as they are, then they give you the results as they are. And in doing so, it is helping us a lot. And uh, we want to thank, because recently they have been struggling with the... Uh, the test, but now they've got new machinery, so it's quicker. Yeah. So if I take it today, I'm able to get it tomorrow. Even if if the if, if the man is uh, if the one in charge is not, is around, he would be he would do it even today. Then tomorrow I'll have the results. The installation of new soil testing equipment at Imtanda Research Station in Kalumbida District has elated local leadership and the farming community. Things are changing most of the time. And actually where we are, we are in Kalumbira district and where is the, all the mines actually. So meaning to say our soil, we can't even know by our eyes to say this is a very good soil. Now as you have mentioned that you are bringing the new machines in our station, for us it's a blessing. You know, a soil needs to be tested. Uh, why I'm saying so is that... Uh, our whole farming system, we had is a, a different kind of seeds which, which, we, which we are planting. For today, meaning to say we have a set a, a change of seeds, you know? So meaning to say some seeds before you planting, you should know what, what, what you are doing yourself as a farmer. Meaning to say if I bring the new equipment to our station, for us it's a blessing. And this is also, it's going to even to, 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 to reduce uh, uh, some costs. As I was saying earlier on, our farmers used to, to, to do some tests at the research station. And unfortunately, the results, of, was, was, the results were being dreaded. This is because of, 
we didn't have any machines to bring up uh, a good, I mean, results. So testing is important in crop production. Soil analysis helps farmers to know the nutrient content of their soil. The soil testing equipment procured by Zari with support from APSA will make it easier to have their soils tested, which is a key step in improving fertility, later on production and productivity. Mm -hmm.